everyone this is Amy welcome to my channel today I'm going to do a very quick video uh, using round brushes I've already cleaned off my green bottle here and I'm going to be using three a magic round brushes a number 14 a number 12 and a number six okay and again I'll put links down below if you want to purchase through my affiliate links you're welcome to do so a fine liner by Westonia and then a flat brush by a magic again and it's a number two and then I'm going to be using a clay ball maker for dot making all right paints I'm using today are red violet violet pansy light lavender pale yellow Thicket, Happy Green, and Wicker White. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to begin by using the the larger of the round brushes, which is the number 14, dipping it all into the red violet. And I'm going to begin just by tapping down, kind of like I've done some other flowers recently. And I'm sorry, I have to go in front of the camera here. And I'm just going to tap it down, tap it down, and tap it down. If you want it to be more opaque, you can go back over it. Maybe allow a little bit of dry time and then go back over it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do a few of these. And I apologize for the background noise. I have a grandson down here with me while I'm doing this. And that's what you're hearing. Okay, and I'm going to do maybe another one down here. If you're new to my channel feel free to subscribe hit that notification bell before leaving also you can put questions or comments down below the video I'd love to hear from you all right gonna put that brush aside going on to the next one which is the number 12 I'm going to put it into the violet pansy just kind of tapping it out there and doing the same thing all right so Again, just, just the basic tapping down. Just making like a fingerprint, imprint kind of deal. And just put it out here. And just keep going. All right, I like to work in my odd numbers. I can do more, but since the space is not really that big, I'm just gonna limit it to what, I'm, what you're seeing me do here. All right, going to grab the next brush and go into the light lavender and just fill the brush up. You just want to fill it up all the way with, with the paint. Here we go. Again, just pressing down. Sorry if my hand's in the way. And you can put this, you know, kind of to break up because these other two colors are, when you do it on paper, they're not really that close in color, but when you're doing it on the glass, they really are closer in color than what I realized. So... And it's okay if you're picking up color from another, from one of these other flowers. And again, as I said, with it being transparent, you can go back over it and do it again. And fill it in once it's dry. Hit it with a heat gun, hair dryer. And even like these where I'm trying to layer it, if you don't like the look of it having some of that color pulled into it, then by all means, hit it with the heat gun and go on. Coming out here, oh, that petal went a little long, but that's okay. Petals can be different sizes. They don't all have to be the same size or shape for that matter. Might fill it in a little bit here. All right. I'm going to put that aside, come in with my fine liner, pull it in and out. I can come into some of these other colors too as I'm doing that. I'm going to put it through here. And just put your stems in wherever you want to pretend that they're 
coming through. If you want it to be that there's more than one, like there's more than one branch that these are coming off of, you can do that too. For the sake of this video, I'm just going to keep it as one. Just to keep it easy. And I'm just going to pull off some little stems off to the side here. And up to the top. Okay, just making it very easy. Alright, this video is a little challenging to make between having a grandson that's causing noise and my dog's barking. The next thing you're going to do is just take the fine liner and pull it in towards the stem. You can even, you know, write it, rotate in some white, kind of go over it with the yellow, the greens, and just rotate it. Again, when you're doing something like this, the uh, little branches or little leaves or it's not really, well, I guess these would be kind of leaves. When you're doing your filler, filler leaves, just pull them in, make them different sizes, different colors, or if you want to make them all the same color, you can do that too. I just personally like to rotate the colors, just give it some interest. Alright, so we're going to do this up here and just keep going. Again, very simple. If you're new to my channel, please know that that is the intent of my channel is to provide very simple designs that anybody can paint. You can always add, if you're a higher level painter, you can always add to the designs and use them as an inspiration. Again, that's up to you. Alright, I'm just going to do another quick one up at the top. You know, just stand back and take a look and see where you need to add stuff to. And if you need to fill in with more leaves, more branches, and then just go for it. All right, so then the next thing I'm going to do is come through here with my flat brush, dip it into my greens. I can always pull in some yellow, some white, just kind of blend it a little bit. I just, I don't do a whole lot of blending when I'm working on glass, a lot of times it's because the uh, I want it thick. So I'm actually intentionally making it thicker by adding, keep adding and not blending as much. If that makes sense. I'm not going to do a whole lot of these leaves, just some. You're probably thinking, if you follow me, you're probably thinking, yeah, right. <laughs> you can just do on this little stem that's coming out here, just do a little bit, a little bit here as it goes. And then you may just want to like look back here and see where we need to add a few of these. I'm going to put one in here, just kind of hanging it over, maybe come up here a little bit. And again, it's okay if you pull in the other colors. That's perfectly fine. If you don't want to, then give it some dry time. All right, next thing I'm going to do, we're almost done. Stick with me, I appreciate it. I'm just going to come in here and quickly come through here and put little stems in here and to, to attach them to the bigger branch and do the same thing here here yeah. again very easy I hope you like this 
We have one more thing to do. Put those stems in there if we can see them. Getting a little glare, so it's hard for me to see. I'm hoping that me adjusting to the other side of the no. table helps. Okay, last thing I'm going to do, we'll be done, is take the smaller part of my clay ball maker, dip it into the white, and then just come down here and pounce. It does not have to cover up the entire center. It's okay if there's openings around it. And if you don't like it to do that, then make your center smaller. Or use a bigger dotting stylus, you can do that. Another thing you could add to is there's some dots. You could use, could have used the yellow um, to make it stand out a little bit more. Whoops, I think I missed a flower. A couple flowers here. Um, but that, again, you know, that's a, oops, there's a center there. You can see, like I said, the glare's a little hard here. Anyways, there you have it. Easy peasy. All right, I hope you like this video. If you do, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. New to my channel, please subscribe, hit that notification bell. And before you leave, please take a moment to share this video on your social network with your family and friends. I would greatly appreciate that. Can I apologize for any uh, extra noises in my video today because I do have my grandson, um, but I still hope you enjoyed the video. All right, till the next time, please stay safe and healthy and you have a good one.